Hey guys, it's on Tundra here to fill up these few days that are still left before the other Let's Plays come back. We're going to be playing some Mario Party 6. I would have wanted to play Mario Party 5, but for some reason my game, every time I lost the launch a mini game, the game freezes. Also, I did not actually make that file in 2009 and have zero star coins, whatever those star points in. I think it's maybe getting stars from playing party mode. But I should probably slow down my talking so more people can understand who I really am and I just want to do this. I remember this game a lot less than Mario Party 5 and I think I like it a lot less. It seems like the Mario Parties have gotten worse as they've gone a lot. Well, anything five and below, I say, is really good. So I don't. That's me being forgetful and seeing if this game is good or not. Uh, no, nah, I think I know how to play Mario Party. And I remember what the, one of these guys' names. It's Brighton and someone else. And towering treetop oh yeah that's the gimmick of this game all the maps like change from night to day that's why there's the two and night and day fair square ah i i like i like the pun we're gonna go to the fair square i think i did this okay let's see 20 terms battle royale all games with bonus uh anything else yeah that's all i want you gotta have the bonus start at the end i'm gonna go with three who else would i play as actually i would maybe play as luigi uh my rival uh i don't know what i want to do i'll do I'll do one normal, one hard, and wait, choose character. Oh, I can't. That's not random? Okay, and uh, who else do I want? I want Peach, because Peach is going to be a pain in the ass. Oh, I'll let one, two, three. Uh, I guess I'll do one of each. That sounds fair to me. And oh, okay, let's make this fair. I'll start out with a nine handicap because I've never played this game before. Okay, we'll make it fair. And let's go in. So it's probably not going to be as interesting as my last Mario Party board play where I did it with like five people and one mic, which was, it was something. It was enjoyable. I, I had a fun time, but trying to get those people together and doing all that. I wish I had five mics so I could have done that much better. But the setup for that is just a pain in the ass. Welcome to Fair Square. Want to hear about this board? Ah, uh, please, because I have no idea. Here at Fair Square, you can win coins and stars by playing games of luck. Oh, no, this is going to be all luck-based. I'm going to get screwed over. This isn't a regular star. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, you buy stars here instead. You can buy up to five star. Wow, okay. Star pieces change between day and night, so be sure to buy them when they're cheap. Let's figure out the order everyone will play. Hit those dice blocks, and I'm going to get a seven. A three. I'm not last. That's always, you always got to look on the sunny side. Ha, <laughs> sorry, because he's, he's a... Uh... Oh, if you get that 10 coins to start with, is it really sad that I made that pun? There's going to be a lot of day and night puns. Day and night. That song's catchy, but I don't know any of the words. So, there's one central star place in the beginning. During the day, you can buy them for 20 coins each. Alright, then let's party. And I don't know what we can buy them for in the middle of the day, but I guess we'll find out. That's the fun of this. And wait. Oh, I can't hit R to do my taunt move and piss everyone off. But base oh wow, and that really pixelized bad. Let's see if it does it again when it does the transition over. If there's not anything crazy going on. Let's watch. Watch where Boo is. Oh, the pixelation is so bad. Thanks, GameCube 5. I'll take it. But uh, if you've never played Mario Party before, it's basically a board game with mini games mixed in. Everyone rolls for a turn, and then depending on what you land on, or if you get a five like everyone else, you'll be sorted up in the category. See, we all got blue, so we'll play a four-player minigame. And I have none of the mini games unlocked, so question mark, question mark, question mark. It's my favorite game, Sunday Drivers. It is a golf game, I would assume. I, I, I love all these game titles because they're all punnies, and I, I love puns. Uh, press the morning according to the Shy Guy's order to hit the golf ball. Whoever hits ten balls first wins. Okay, so we just got to hit the buns that come up. And I'm going into this like completely blind now. Hopefully it doesn't crash right now. You probably won't be seeing this video if it does. Okay. Gotta focus because I'm gonna get my ass kicked by the hard. A. X. It's a lot slower than I expected. B. A. Y. L. Waluigi, I thought you were the hard character. Come on. B. I probably should have put on uh, all of them hard. It's really... I, I I just don't know how hard the AI is going to be. Maybe Mario is the hard. If Waluigi is the hard, that's sad that he got beaten by Peach. Okay, maybe it's inconsistent. I don't know. And I don't know if the AI is on the board, like their decisions on the board are smart with the AI, or it's just in the minigames. I'm just going to play Mario Party and have some fun. And it looks like three, day, three days for daytime, three nights for nighttime. 30 days and 40 nights. What kind of orbs are in here? 
Oh, he's got a little GameCube in there. Get a mushroom orb. Oh, Mario always needs his fix. You know. Italians. They're the worst. Okay, let's see. Waluigi. I, I honestly just don't know what's going on, which I find it kind of find cool. And I can see how this is a better group game to have, especially when you're not waiting for everyone to go. Oh, wins. Okay, luck will. Oh, this is probably the luck based thing they're talking about. The stuff you can get from here. And I guess it takes a bit of skill. Or he just gets tons of coins from it. How much do you get from it? So he paid five, got ten. So I'm not going to take my chance on that because I'm going to fail that really badly. And I'm guessing if people screw up, those pots go up. Also, that's a happening square right there. That is where, uh, and okay, a seven. There's bonus stars at the end of the game. And I'll, I'll, I'll check it out. Let's see what's going on in this orb shop. Uh, what do we got? We got a uh, Zephyr, any phone lose five coins, every space he moves past it. Move two dice blocks, any opponent lands, let's give you half their coins. I'm good. I don't need to play this fancy game and I'm gonna, ah, oh, I get a red square. So maybe I'll get a one versus three mini game and I'll see how good the AI actually is. And Peach, stop following me, please. Also waste your money, thank you. Well, she, she also bought a mushroom. I'm dumb, I was like, the only thing that's five in there. I guess everyone has the same buying options. That'd be kind of cheap. Oh no, it's gonna be a 2v2. Oh no, I got stuck with the bad AI. See, this is how having a bad AI might screw me over. Because if I get stuck with her, there's nothing I can do about it. But I guess the odds, well, I guess the odds for every AI is the same. Now let's see, jump the gun, like a motion-based thing. Jump the gun, one player creates a bridge by shooting bolts with the other, ooh, okay. It doesn't tell me who I am? Okay. Move the cursor, shoot the bolt bell. Oh, uh, this is going to be really painful if I'm not the one. Either way, it's going to be really painful. Okay, at least I have this. Go. You can jump that. You can jump that. Come on, Peach. I believe in you. This seems fairly simple, as long as she can make these jumps, and I'm assuming how far you can jump correctly. Okay, Peach, you got this. Uh, we're gonna go for the safe play. Are they ahead of us? I can't tell. Somebody in the comments tell me if we're ahead of them. I don't know. Uh, okay, I'm gonna say that. That's definitely safe. I need to put one there, though. Okay, oh no, she can make that jump. I am way under-assuming her capabilities. And it seems like she's not missing jumps, which is good. Maybe it's really hard to miss jumps. Actually, I think we're going to win it. I'm sorry to tell Crackphone, you peach. I'm sorry if I even remembered if you're the low AI or not. Either way, you're my boy. Maybe the weaker you put them, the better their AI is. Hmm. Revelations made here first. Okay, so we're, we're doing good. We got that first place. I'm going to be sad if I completely stomp, though, because I didn't put them all on hard. I'm just wary that either I'm going to get destroyed or I'm going to stomp. There's, it, It's hard to figure out what's going to happen. And Mario's on shrooms. Hopefully he can get to... Uh, only a 12. Not that bad. But hopefully he can get to wherever we're going first to see what's going on. Also, can I move? Can I make, like, tech speed faster or something? Is there, uh... Uh, no, I want I want to view the mini game destruction. I will get my ass beat. What's this? Uh, CPU. Yeah, I will skip that. Uh, fast. Actually, no, I don't want to skip that. And good. And also, I don't have the mic plugged in. There's actually a mic that came with this game. For some reason, I have two of these mics. I have no idea why, but. Whatever, man, and uh, that looks like it's the general pool that everyone puts their money into, and that's how it happens. I'm guessing from that you get, well, nope, you get nothing. And the jackpot is, uh, I don't know what jackpot. Jackpot, actually, it's probably just the coin thing is whatever you get for the coin thing. And okay, there is, like, little places to get capsules around this map, too. Capsules are, like, little items you can use around. You've seen the mushroom, you've seen the two that are in the shop. So let's just hope this goes best for me. Also, this is really painful waiting for everyone else to go. I mean, you have to. It's like Monopoly. You can't roll for yourself before everyone else rolls. It's strategic. Lucky number seven. Where is this taking us? I I'm not a gambling man. I uh, don't want to see your damn animation. No, thank you. Thank you. And where do we end up? I had a feeling someone else rolled up. Oh, okay, I thought I was going to go in the red square again because I can't count the ten. Even though I only need to count the seven. That's how badly I can't count the ten. It looks like we're going to begin transitioning into nighttime after I kick everyone's ass at this minigame. If I win all 20 minigames, this is going to be sad. 
Give me something hard. Give me if if it's a button mashing game, I will most likely lose. I am garbage at those. Smash dance. Uh, ground pounding. Ground pound the growing pound is the score. Most ground pound wins. Okay, this is definitely something I can lose at. Let's see. It's sad when you're like, Yo, I'm so good at this game. I uh, have trouble even losing games. But something like this is going to AI is gonna kick my ass. Or not. Oh, nope. Or yes. Get out of my place, Mario. I made you into a Mario. Uh, he, he's crushed. I crushed him. He's so bad. I he got. Oh, no. I'm a boo sandwich. A boo pancake. That's what I was looking for before. And slam a dunk. And I did that too late. And one. Two. Oh, I judged that badly. I guess that tip I didn't read was something about the colors. And yep. Oh, by a slim margin. I still won it, though. It was pretty close. So I'm 4 for 4 now. Let's see if I can keep the streak rolling. Also, I could lose this game by sheer luck. I mean, sure, sheer luck. Bad luck is what I was looking for. At night, a wheel determines how many coins a star will cost. Ooh. Okay, spin the wheel. Ooh. You can buy five star. Oh, wow, that is a lot more luck. If I get there, I can buy like 10 stars. What? And that was a flame duty thingy. I don't remember. Oh, Mario's gonna get there, and he's gonna buy all the stars! This punk-ass Mario! Mario! And he buys more shrooms. He really needs to deal with that habit. Oh, he got a whatever duel. I can't read that fast, because I set the chat speed on fast, and he is totally gonna get there. Hopefully, it's at the beginning of every turn. That would be very nice. Also, I'm gonna have to walk through all this garbage to get where I want to. Oh, okay! That makes sense. So, when you put it down somewhere, you can tell by that's like... You have to land on this space, but the little hovering thing means if I pass it, it's going to affect me. And I could really use a shroom. What the hell? Oh, he half the coins thingies. And he's going to get over to it, isn't he? Ah, oh, that bastard. Wait, he's going to get three stars, ain't he? Okay, maybe this game ain't going to be too easy. I could win all the mini games and get the mini game bonus star, which is one of the bonus stars at the end of the game. I'm not sure if they change from game to game. I think it's mini game happening and most coins held at a time. So I can probably get two of those if I get all the mini games, but I'm not going to be able to stop a three star purchase like that. Okay, this is going to be something. Hmm. Give me a good roll. If I go buy a shop, I definitely want to buy and get me a good. Ooh, that was a super shroom. I can, if it stays out. Wait, I lose 10? Wow. That's ridiculous. If that stays 5 for the entire nighttime with that super shroom, which I think gives me 3 blocks to roll, unless my luck is completely garbage, we'll be able to get there and get tons and tons of stars to rub it in Waluigi's face. Oh, okay, because of the the pot goes up, then everyone gets high. No, when the pot goes up, everything's worth more value. So when people spend more money, and hey, look, the shy guy keeps the shop during the night, and then the Koopa Trooper does it during the day. Uh-oh. I think you don't. Wait, are they switching spots? or? Oh, no, just steals orbs. Who switches spots? I don't know. Someone with a propeller. And that is a really scary-looking uh, Magic Koopa. Magic, Magic Koopa? I feel like I'm... I'm off on my Nintendo thing. And also, you see she landed on a green square, so it can either go blue or red for it. And odd card out. Um, We're looking. This is uh, one of these things that's not like the other type of game.